family, welcome back to the channel. I'm all by myself today, as you can see. No Joao, no Rome. Rome's asleep, Joao's at work, so I'm here recording by myself. But it's okay, because this video is going to be all about the puppies, week one to week five. That's how old they are now. Just letting you guys know how we're getting on, how everything is, how they're eating, how Dior is, the mum, everything like that. So let's get into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as usual. So guys, today has been a very, very weird ass day. Yay! Uh, the puppies are three weeks old now. So I don't even know where to start, it's gone crazy quick, I can't believe they're a month and one week old today. Um, but where do we start from the beginning? If you want to know more about the first week with the puppies, we did do a video about two weeks ago, so go ahead and click up there to watch that and it's more in depth about how week one was with the puppies. Um, but they're very quiet on the first week, you know, just sleeping a lot and like trying to latch on to the mum. That was one of the hardest things, I think at first because the puppies they would just not latch on to their mum at all we like spent literally 40 minutes trying to like open their little mouths and get them on so they just eat but once they did it it was okay like one would go on and then another dog would fall off like it was so 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 hard but once they get it they're completely fine they just know what to do 100% and you can just leave them to it leave them eating and um, so that was week one just a lot of sleeping eating and sleeping and eating basically it didn't move around a lot at all or if they did it was very like very slow I'll see if I have pictures and videos and stuff to insert um, but not a lot went on in week one I say the essentials that you need for week one like getting started with the puppy are definitely a whelping box lots of towels I wouldn't say puppy pads are necessary in week one just because the mum if she's capable she'll just lick it up anyway clean up after the puppies and you don't really have to worry about anything definitely a heat lamp is a must um just load of blankets that you don't mind getting dirty of course and that's probably it really that's essential essential like that's all we had um we did buy puppy pads but we really didn't use them as for week two um it was very much the same they were sleeping they were just eating a lot of milk they're still tiny they're still just eating so much not much movement so don't expect them to be walking around at two weeks definitely not also week two the puppies opened their eyes as well and it was the cutest thing ever it was like they're actually staring at us and they could see us because they're born with like their eyes closed and they don't open them for a while so week two was when our puppies actually opened their eyes and it was so so cute it, they actually look like proper puppies then because when they're little they just look like little like mouses but when they actually open their eyes they were so so cute it was actually adorable i would say a good thing to do to make sure that they're like healthy is definitely weigh them every day that's what we did um i just did it on my phone let me see so puppies wait here it just I just did it on my phone and just weighed them literally every day so on like the third day or something like that apollo junior aj was 266 grams, Tiger was 228, and Blue Ivy was 268. Now they're all past that, they're like a thousand and something, something, something. Like, it's crazy how much they grow, but definitely keep an eye on their weight. Um, that's how you know they're, they're healthy, they're eating, because one of our puppies, like we said in our other video, she was just so much more thinner than all of them. Um, and we thought like something might have been wrong like at one point AJ and Blue were like 600 grams and she was still 400 and obviously we were worried but we went to the vets they said it was all fine so we didn't have to worry a thing about it it was just because she is like on the edge of the placenta so she was just way smaller but it was nothing to worry about at all so definitely weighing the puppies regular um, is how you know they're healthy and they're all fine. By week three three that's when things started to change not dramatically but like you could see a change in the dog so much they were running around well, running's a bit of an exaggeration but they were trying to walk like they were crawling they're like just stumbling over a bit just being a bit more aware of everything so they could see a bit more they were feeding like usual sleeping still quite a lot but they were just beginning to play with each other more and like 
wrestle kind of but they were just trying to find their feet like starting to like stumble a little bit so definitely start to keep an eye more on the puppies at week three because all puppies are different but our puppies like they definitely started to be more active around week three but it was actually in week four like a month in when they were so so active with each other and they were actually trying to climb out of the whelping box so that's when I thought like okay maybe we should move them out of the whelping box now because four weeks they start to wean anyway start to eat normal food so I thought okay let's put them in a bigger crate they have more space to like run around get them more active um, and also by this point the mum Dior she was kind of being a bit more distant she wasn't like neglecting them I don't think she was still sitting in the whelping box with them but um she I don't know like you can kind of tell when your dog isn't right and she was kind of just looked a bit tired and a bit annoyed like I can imagine just all them puppies trying to eat off me 24 7 I'd be annoyed too so that's how she was you could just tell that she was getting a bit like okay I've had enough like let me sleep now so a month in is when we got all the crate stuff um I'll insert some videos because I did vlog that day when they turned a month old and I got all the stuff ready and I got the crate ready so play that clip now so crate is up this like changes into loads of like different shapes, but I think this one's okay. Um, I don't know whether to put Dior's bed in there so she can like chill with them. Obviously she's gonna be in there most of the time, but I want her to be able to like get out if she wants to. But if I leave the door open, the puppies are just gonna come out as well. We've had this thing for ages by the way, so mind the grubs. So I think I like do it in like hourly periods, like let Dior chill in there for a bit and then give her a break if she wants to, you know what I mean? Um, but now I'm going to put puppy pads in it, uh, make it all comfy, because they're actually like pooing now. One of them pooed in the welcome box and there's no puppy pads down, so it was kind of gross, but Dior just licked it up anyway. And then I think what I'm going to do with the welcome box, I'm actually going to give it to Apollo and have it like, have him have it as his own little bed. So what I've done, I put Dior's bed in, I'm going to see how that is, but if she like picks up the puppies and tried to put them in the bed with her, I think I'll take the bed out just because I feel like that's more prone to suffocating if you know what I mean. And um, then I just put a mat down and then I put some puppy pads, but I don't know why, but Miss Dior over there, she doesn't like puppy pads, like I put them in a whelping box and she just like scratches and moves them off. So I'm going to put Dior in here first so just so she can get used to it, I'll get some treats as well. And then I'm going to move the heat lamp and then move the puppies. I'm also going to leave Apollo out. He has met the puppies. We did like let him sniff it, let him sniff them and stuff. But he hasn't been around them for more than like five minutes before. So I'm going to do all this while Apollo is here. So you guys can um, see how he is with the pups. Go on, girl. She loves her bed. I bet she's missed it. She hasn't had it since she's given birth. She's just been in the whelping box, but she used to love it so much. So, first we've got Blue and Tiger, who is already changing colour, she's going darker. And Blue, oh my god, she has been climbing out of the welcome box, so that's why I've been like, damn, we need to get a proper crate now. There you go, there you puppy. Last but not least, AJ. There we go. I'm just a bit scared that they're gonna like get trapped in the crate holes. But I thought it's better than them climbing out of the welcome box. Look at them walking around now as well, guys. Beginning to walk. They can't completely walk, but um, they're definitely playing with each other. Like, they fight with each other so much. I can't wait till they can all play together. we are so cute. Dior's looking after them. Good girl. Apollo's just having a sniff. Like, you my kids? I birth you? Oh, it's actually AJ. Apollo Jr. <laughs> Okay, so so far so good. I've also got a um, little security camera that I'm going to set up so I can keep my eye on them. So I'm going to make Apollo's bed, get him comfy, and then I will start making the food that the puppy's going to eat. I don't expect them to be eating all of it because they're still used to milk. Uh, on that note, let me show you what I bought. I got some of this formula. I went to Pets at Home and they said this is what they have with their food. So I think I'm just going to give them a mix of what we give Apollo and Dior, some water and then some formula and then see how we get on with that. Hey, they've already had wheeze and I can actually see it on their puppy pad. They're not enjoying time away from mum, but you have to take away mum when they're like learning to eat. Right, I'm just going to make their food now because they're getting very agitated without mum. 
So let's get it done quickly. And honestly, I have just Googled like the steps for weaning and it just says make a gruel. Apparently that's what it's called. Um, so like dry food, um, two, 12 ounces of puppy milk replacement and two cups of water. And yeah, I just offer it to them. They're probably not gonna eat it. Um, but we'll see, I'm excited. Hopefully they do eat it, let's see. So I went out and I bought them like a bowl, but I was expecting like Pets at Home to have like the proper puppy ones. Like I put a picture here of what I wanted, but they literally just didn't have any. So I had to go for this, but I feel like it's too deep. So like if they can't stick their heads in it, I might just use like a, a flat tray that I have here. Two cups of puppy food, that's a lot. I might just go for one. I'm just gonna go for one cup because I feel like they're just gonna waste it anyway. So one puppy food and then it says 12.5 ounces of puppy milk replacer. So I'll just do one spoon for now. See how we get on with that. Maybe I should have measured it out first. Tomorrow I'll measure it out. <laughs> then I need warm water. This is not boiling water by the way, it is warm. I just made a coffee for myself. And then water. Then I need to mix it like blend it all together but I don't have a blender so I'm gonna have to use a fork and remember that's the dog's fork current situation it is way harder to mush up dog food than you think I'm just gonna have to let it soak in like the milk for a bit and then it'll be easier easier then it'll be easier to mush because <laughs> that dog food is not getting mushed at all all right the mush hasn't really improved but I thought I'm just gonna try it because they say to give it them at random times in the day. So as it, get, as it gets mushier, I won't have to change out the food. I'll choose the same one. Right, so I'm just going to put the bowl in the middle. See what they do. If they don't, like, try and eat it, they said just to put a bit on your, like, thing finger. To, like, tease them a little bit. Hey, puppy. Puppy. I don't know if this is completely wrong. Like, if they just go towards the bowl. I don't know. But. Oh, that one's put his leg in it. Oh. Oh, they're going for it. Yeah. They're actually going for it. She isn't though. She's like, what? What's going on here? She's trying to eat the ball. Oh my god. Oh, oh, got a foot in it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, she's trying to lick it off her head. I might put more like water in it because it seems as though they're just licking like the milk. Yeah, definitely not mushy enough. Oh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm surprised they actually went for it. Oh, it's so cute. That is so cute. So, sometime later, this little puppy's had some food too, haven't you? They actually ate quite a lot. They ate a lot of the milk, but obviously, like I said, it's not soft enough to bunch up. So I'm gonna mush this up really good now and then give it to them again in a couple of hours. Um, but they're all hunched up together, so I'm gonna get Dior in here now to clean them up. That's it. See? Straight for the food. Don't even care about her pups. <laughs> I'll just leave the door like that and then if she's standing by the door, I'll just let her out. I didn't realise how much they actually wee though. In the whelping box, I couldn't see it because I didn't have any puppy pads on there. But damn, they wee a lot. Mad. They also started being very, very vocal between week three and week four. Um, they'd cry when like Dior walked away from them and they'd start like growling at each other like barking when they were playing I'd definitely become more and more vocal especially now week five they're barking they're howling they're crying so much especially now like Dior I wouldn't say like like I said, I don't think she's neglecting them, but now they're in the crate like 24-7 and she's kind of got a bed on the outside. I did put a bed on the inside of the crate, but then the dogs were going in the bed with her and it was such a small space, I just thought she was going to crush them. So I took the bed out and now she just likes sitting outside of the crate, not with the puppies. The puppies are five weeks old today. They're getting so much bigger and so much better at eating their food. They've actually got to the bottom of the bowl today. So, you know the drill. It's time to just swap out the blankets in their cage, give them a nice clean, and then let Mummy in with her pups, and then try and give them a bit more food as well, because it's looking nasty in there. Like, if you have puppies, it's not going to be pretty, you already know. No matter how many times you try and clean it, keep it clean, it's just not going to happen. So, be back with you guys when it's spotless.
So now the puppies are five weeks old. They're still having milk from mum. Um, but I'm gonna start this week making it a bit more solid because it was proper like porridgey, their food. But gradually I'm gonna make it thicker. So I'm just gonna do that now. I actually measured this out now. I actually found out the right conversion. So 12 ounces of like powder and then two cups of dog food in there, mix all together, make a little potion. I think the hardest thing I'm finding now is the food aspect because they are really good at eating food like I'll put the bowl on the floor and they'll eat out of it but I don't know if they get enough like I can't tell and like every time I let Dior back in with the puppies like they'll go crazy and really really want milk so that to me is like they're not eating enough I mean they're putting on weight we're still measuring them um, and they seem to be fine so hopefully everything's all right it's kind of like when I was breastfeeding Rome it's like I didn't know who if he was getting enough but he was putting on weight so he was getting enough so i'm just trying to put dog logic with baby logic try and figure it out like that i don't know so all in all with puppies it is a hard thing like i was so so scared getting into all of this so i just didn't know what to expect like i thought i'd have to be with them 24 7 until they like eight weeks but honestly it's if you're thinking about like breeding your puppies and letting them have puppies or they're pregnant and you're a bit worried honestly don't be there's so much like negativity with it all and there just doesn't need to be like i don't want to say it's easy but it's really it's not hard like i don't know if that's just me personally our puppies haven't had any problems like touch wood but honestly if your mum is capable of it and she wants her puppies then she will honestly do most of the work like she'll feed them she'll clean them she won't lie on them that was my worst fear like i thought she was going to crush them but she honestly knows that she will not crush them because we used to sleep down here with the puppies because i thought like oh i need to be with them 24 7 but now we're upstairs the puppies are down here with dior like she doesn't crush them she knows what to do and honestly it's this like they're not even there sometimes i don't know if that sounds bad but um that's just how it is i'm being truthful with you guys um for me it hasn't been terribly hard it's probably gonna get really hard now i've said that i've just jinxed myself but um honestly don't be worried about it any questions you have please 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 don't hesitate to dm us comment down below i'll definitely reply no doubt about it um please i'd love to hear your questions any queries please let us know thank you for watching this little video i hope it wasn't too short it's just a little what to expect from puppies to week five puppies and we'll definitely do another more of these when they're older week eight probably that's when they're ready to leave but i don't think we're gonna let them leave <laughs> for all that in another video thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time and the whole family will be here for the next video thank you for watching guys peace and love ciao